Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we are looking at the Hive Vault. It says here that this app aspires to become the standard spot digital asset market trading solution for both basic and advanced. And we see some other things going on here on the page, you know, with the links, you know, up here in the navigation bar. Telegram, you know, button, staking button, D app button, and some socials here to the left hand side of the page. They do have a pink sale pre sale going on right now, so we see that they've got some badges, say FU, audited, and KYC. As far as the audit's concerned, it did pass with no higher medium severity issues. Uh, the team's not photo docs, but as you can see, they do have a KYC. That's going to be through solid proof. And as far as the description is concerned, we see that it's the world's uh, first powerful ecosystem app, which includes, uh, you know, just a host of different features, you know, auto pre-sale or buyer. Uh, I never, you know, I'm just not a cusser, you know, so, but you see what this is, uh, that kind of cart um, or coin chart viewer. A bias vote on the upcoming project, eco app, staking and proper D app. Everything in between DeFi and, um, you know, this world under an application designed for its users to manage the pre-sales, fair launch, and tap into innovation in a secure, globally accessible way. Big team and industry experience, 0%, you know, on the buy side, 4% on the sell side, say few audited, fully KYC or fully docs. So we can see just over three days remaining as far as this pre-sale is concerned. They've already raised 20 BNB. And uh, because it's a fair launch, they're looking to go ahead and get to at least 50 BNB on the soft cap before they can actually launch, right? So we can see, you know, the tokens, you know, per BNB here, total number of contributors, you know, it's 11 so far. You know, so we'll see where they're at, you know, at the end of the pre-sale or at the end of their, um, you know, a time frame or time window, you know, for this, uh, for this fair launch. So um, we see the initial market cap is going to be very, very low. Uh, micro cap 98.31. So if they can get over the soft cap, you know, then this will obviously adjust a little bit. But we'll see what that looks like, you know, by the time this fair launch ends. 365 days after the pool ends as far as the liquidity lockup time. Now, we do, they do have some documentation here. So we see a number of different things to engage with as far as their documentation, you know, concerning the project. Um, so make sure that you take a look at that. And continuing on with the main page. Uh, so we see what is the Hive Vault uh, aims to disrupt, disrupt the crypto trading industry by creating algorithmic trading ecosystem. Uh, and then we saw this information, you know, on uh, the pink sale page. So uh, let's see here. Problems and solutions. You know, the problems here. Different pieces of the new Internet are born as building blocks, but there's no way for them to work together. Even interoperating new technologies with old centralized resources can prove useful in making the paradigm shift from Web 2 to Web 3 happen. Now, we own our data. We can prove that we own what we have and have created it on different platforms. But how do we put it together in a whole new cohesive framework? Solutions. I always had a vision to create a transparent ecosystem to bring affordable and accessible trade finance. Uh, complete information, you know, to those in need for business can only grow when liquidity is not an, is not a hindrance. Now we're excited to launch High Vault app, a decentralized finance platform. That is an app, multitask app, comes with some first seen features on the you know this world. Okay, so we see the white paper. We've already taken a look at least identifying, you know, what the white paper is. But obviously, you know, as mentioned on this channel, you know, and several times, you know, over a number of projects that we've covered, um, you know what, hey, we never invest, encourage you to invest on the channel, but we always encourage you to get informed. So ton of information, you know, in that white paper that you certainly should make sure that you reference uh, to learn, you know, just all the details in regards to uh, this, this project. So let's see here, moving forward, we see token sale. Um, now this here on the timer, you know, it's saying the fair launch will start in, you know, and whatnot, but we can already see the fair launch is live, you know, so they really should remove the timer because I think it's misleading. If someone were to, you know, come to the website and see that, you know, hey, it's gonna start in and they're looking at, you know, it's, it's gonna start in five hours then what will happen is they potentially, you know, would wait, you know, until they think it's going to start, you know, if they didn't click over to, you know, that pink sale link, right? And you could be also potentially looking at a scenario where if somebody came to this page late and was looking at the timer thinking that, you know, hey, 
you know, the timer's running and the pink sale fair once has already ended, then guess what? You miss out on the pink sale pre-sale. So um, it's just my personal opinion that I really do believe that this should be removed from the page because it is misleading information in my personal opinion. So, and then we get some other information in regards to the pre-sale fair launch. So we see information here in regards to the mobile app, you know, on Android and iOS, you know, so they say Apple's coming soon. Then they got a link, you know, for their Android app. Moving forward, we see what they've got going on in terms of the roadmap. So we can see a number of different items here. Um, but here's where we are, you know, October 2022, you know, Q3. Um, well, I actually consider this to be Q4, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, full time or full Hive Vault ecosystem at Live Fair launch on Pink Sale. And then we can see here, you know, moving forward in November, um, software development kit for integrations. And then December, uh, mobile apps launch pad in iOS and, and Android. So you can't click any further, you know, so according, you know, to this right here, you know, because if you continue to move down the page, you know, you just see, a, you know, move into transition to additional information. Uh, there's nothing beyond December 22 as far as the roadmap, you know, at least what's indicated here on the main page, you know, so here's the problem that I have with that. One, if you're somebody looking to, you know, look at this project, you don't see, you know, development beyond this current year. And you see that the fair launch and basically the sale of the token is going to take place, you know, within the last, what, three months of the year, you know, so, or I should say, you know, yeah, October, November, December, right? So last three months of the year, just making sure I'm giving you the right information. Um, but with that said, you don't have any other um, indication of development on the project, you know, so if you don't have any other indication of development on the project, then what would that signal to a lot of people even potentially looking to get a hold of your token? Well, I mean, they're not going to be doing anything beyond, you know, uh, this year. So short term hold. Right. Um, we don't also see anything that indicates, you know, that there's going to be like an expansion on the roadmap, you know, anything like that. So these things are important that if you are going to do an expansion on your roadmap or a V2 on the roadmap, you probably should let people know, at least so that they know that there's going to be more coming to the project which would indicate it would be a signal for people to say, okay, I want to hold on to this token longer because I know they've got more work to do. So uh, with that, let me go ahead and pause this real quick. All right. So either way, that ends pretty much my feedback, you know, there. Um, but, you know, before we close out the video, I'll go ahead and share a little bit more. But moving forward, we see that they've got some information in regards to their coin, the HIV coin. Um, token distribution, so we always want to cover this information, you know, so we see 29.4 going to liquidity, 19.6 going to say free lock, 50% going to fair launch, and 1% uh, going to the unlock. So, uh, you know, as far as the token distribution is concerned, I mean, that's this is pretty much, you know, standard information. So good to see they've got that there. You know, as far as the team's concerned, not Photodocs, but again, they do have a KYC. All right, and then we see advisors, you know, to this, you know, as well, and a standard FAQ. Now, looking back, you know, at the um, at the documentation here. So, like I said, you know, always a lot of different informations here. Information here. Um, again, we see, you know, their their tokenomics information, um, which you know we covered. You know, we saw some of that, you know, in regards to the front page, you know, but more or less looked over the token distribution instead. But we, I didn't cover the total supply, you know, which they got 10 million on the total supply. All right. The other thing that I want to mention is, um, let's see here, we're looking at, okay, roadmap, you know, so uh, again, looking at their roadmap, you can see they've got a little bit here, a bit more here in their stage three, you know, but still, you know, we don't see anything else going, you know, really, it's, it's a short roadmap. And even though they don't list time frames here, like they did on the main page, let's go back up here. All right, so heading back up, heading back up. All right, so we see here, at least they've got some time frames. And I've always said, you know, looking at different projects, if you're going to list, you know, um, your roadmap a certain way on the main page, it should also coincide, you know, with what is or how it's listed on the in, in the in the documentation. So if you're going to go ahead and put time frames here, please make sure that you're going ahead and put in time frames, you know, here in the in the documentation too. Granted, most people are going to be looking at your main page and not at the documentation, but still. It should be consistent in both places. Plus, my own personal opinion is that, you know, look, most of most of your people are, or most of your visitors are going to be looking at your main page, right? In terms of your, 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 the information that you're providing. 
uh, regarding um, your, your roadmap and anything else associated with the with the project. Why not give them all the information here on the main page? You know, so because it definitely looks like to me we're getting a much more expanded version of the roadmap than we're getting on the main page, which doesn't make any sense to me because the lion's share of your traffic is going to come to your main page. They're not going to be going to the roadmap, and I've mentioned this on other projects. So, um, but either way, uh, looking here at stage three, again, my feedback is still the same. We need to know if we're going to be getting a V2 or an expansion on the roadmap here you know, in this documentation and on the main page. Um, because again, if we don't get that information, it does look like it's a pretty short you know, um, roadmap after the launch. So here we've got the launch. Okay, and this is all you got going on, you know, um, high vault development, social media presence, you know, this is basically, you know, marketing. Um, it seems C and CG, you know, so I've mentioned before that it really should be the application and not the listing because the application, we know when you're going to apply if you state that you're applying in stage three, but you might not get listed, you know, for you know days, weeks, or even months. And it is not, you know, uncommon, you know, for projects to not see a listing on those platforms for months after they apply. Weekly AMA, okay, that's fine. That's going to be, you know, something probably, you know, handled either within your, your social channel, Twitter, Telegram, um, Twitter Spaces, or, or, or Telegram, you know, or in your Discord. Um, you know, app and website updates, and then this is just more about, you know, the, the high vault, you know, so... Again, if there's going to be more that's going to be added, I think that would that would provide value signals, you know, to anybody that's potentially looking to participate in the, in the token. At least they know that there's more coming to the ecosystem and to the development of the project, which would indicate to them to maybe hold on to the token longer. But if you don't indicate anything like that, then basically you're telling people, well, we're not going to be doing anything else, you know, after we go ahead and basically get listed, you know, on CMC and CG, you know, and... Yeah, we've got this stuff going on right here, but there's really nothing, there's no other reason, you know, why you should, should really hold on to the token. You know, so and I think it's important that you want to give people looking at your project a reason to want to hold on to your token long term instead of, you know, dumping it. So um, that's just, again, my own personal opinion. And as you guys know on this channel, I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm going to expose you to projects, you know, briefly and then, um, you know, give you my own personal opinion. You know, so take it or leave it. That's what it is. Um, but beyond that, I just wanted to go ahead and share with you my thoughts in regards to the High Vault. Let you know that they are in pre-sale right now. They got a few days, you know, left before it, uh, you know, before it concludes. And this is all assuming that they go ahead and they can get to their soft, uh, soft cap. But uh, that'll do it for me on this one. You know, guys, as always, if you are interested in taking a closer look at the project. Make sure that you're taking a look at other content beyond this video and you know, look at the community, take a look over the documentation so you can form a complete picture of what the project really is that should inform your steps as to what level of participation you may take concerning the project itself. So thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the day.